Aloha world. So this is how we do it. There was no feedback on the topics for this bonus one. I um, just put each one of them on a paper and now I will be guided by my Divine Feminine to pick one for uh, today's meeting here. So let's see. Three most important blockages to let go in order to become who you love. How cool. So, let's see. Yeah, this is a nice way to do it. It's very windy today. So I tried to find out if my spot has been taken. Yeah, so this morning has been very interesting as um, I do my morning, uh, Monday morning, beautiful coaching session with my coach Bruno Morris. Um, and he was sharing with me a very interesting story. So one of his uh, clients has been salesperson for a while and then it wasn't going too well and then he changed the focus to relationship coaching and boom everything changed so when I asked why did it change he said because he was more aligned with relationship coaching than with uh, sales and I would say out of these three blockages most important to let go in order to become who you love, number one is actually alignment. And it could be like all three of this because once you aligned with your, you know, inner, then everything else will kind of align with it as well. So when I did the first coaching with another coach years ago, and we were trying to figure out which one to focus on because I have so many uh, different ones. So I have the wellness reset, 90 days. I have the beautiful uh, relationship alchemy transformation. I have the beautiful mental fitness one as well. And so he was asking me which one is the most exciting and most aligned for you. And no doubt the relationship alchemy and when I went deeper into it I also understood why because when you want to really become who you love number one key is to find out the biggest pain you have ever experienced in your life when I went back on my timeline I figured this was that six years old incident I had if you yet have not checked out my video about it here in the group it was about the safety one so very very deep stories go back and listen to that one and now what you can do is once you find that pain point you can uh, start to figure out like okay why is it I divinely chose to experience this and then as you figure this out What's happening is trying to get through this. The pain point, what it's doing, it's actually helping to point you in the right direction. So when my trust was misused and abused, my body was misused and abused without my you know, consent, because I was so small, then my number one purpose, which I chose to come here and help others with, and myself most, most and foremost, is how to heal that and how to learn to set boundaries, how to become the best friend with myself so that I feel safe at all times, and I know also when the danger is there that I get the information and I go away. So all in all, my whole life, I've been looking for that special someone. And I found him 
only after I found the inner world in me and my inner family inside of me. And as I did that, only then it was possible to heal everything else. So now as I'm getting and stepping more into this alignment, yes, relationship alchemy. So what does that even mean? That means that you are looking at all the possible perspectives and holistically all the sides and down and up and everywhere to figure out how to create your life, your relationships on your terms, whatever, professional, personal, doesn't matter. And once you do that, your ultimate happiness cornerstone has been founded and usually also people don't realize this but relationships are the foundation to anything else in your life you want a real fulfilled life relationships is the way to go so okay let's go through this here little commercial break with the wind and birds we went a little fly special one for you guys and then see how it is here okay so this morning i was listening to several other master classes and what was so interesting was that there are two different ladies one was talking about the masculine and feminine another one was talking about saboteurs a little bit of the inner child as well but none of them talked about all of them together. And that's what I'm doing. That's what I have been doing for the last almost 10 years um, uh, focused on that. So imagine now creating your personal and professional life through that consciousness and healed energy of your inner child, inner woman and inner man. And I just recently started to look deeper into that you know, when uh, the inner child is wounded, it can start to ruin your business because it needs attention and it can just like come in. Imagine now you having like a real uh, business meeting and then a screaming child comes in and is uh, screaming for attention or whatever the case is. She has no clue about like that there are certain times to do it or whatever. So when the inner child is very, very wounded, it can do that and it can ruin. It can ruin uh, possibilities for you. So it can be also in uh, personal relationships as well. So the recent month has been really interesting because it has given me so many pointers that Crystal, you have to add another element to it, which would be holistic business and develop a new program which is holistic business through that three um, uh, holy trinity like the inner child inner woman inner man but of course before they can even like understand how it all works they need to really do the foundational relationship alchemy uh, 90 days with the inner child inner woman inner man because that's the core foundation you can't build anything Otherwise, you have to go through the basics. You can't jump to PhD uh, right away. You have to go through certain steps to get there. And another thing I realized connected to this alignment. So I have been working with my weight and my body and my body image and my fitness for the past six years very very like um, closely at times some people even say like crystal this is too extreme what you're doing lots of challenges lots of crazy stuff lots of detoxes all kinds of stuff I've even managed to go down like 20 pounds in like um, eight days um, which is not recommended uh, don't uh, do it alone without any guidance <laughs> because that can be actually dangerous and life-threatening even. But yeah, this is how I am. So I'm experimenting, doing these things to figure out, you know, what works, what doesn't work. So I do these regular water fasting days. And why water fasting is really good is when you don't take any food in, 
what starts to happen is um, you start to get real mental clarity and also uh, feedback about some things, also your blockages. So, but once again, if you have never done it before, it's rather to start with a green smoothie day or a green salad day or something. And if you need more information about like how to do it, um, just take contact with me because I'm also a certified wellness coach so I can give you some ideas. So, so now I noticed that my body is getting some areas which are getting challenged again. So it's like, so body, what's, what's the issue here? And that's another thing which in my future wellness reset program you guys can come and experience because most programs I few, know very few programs who are like actually teaching you to talk to your body and ask your body like hey what's the problem you know directly why go all, all around it you know so I asked that and then the question which came was with the answer uh, it is the wheat and milk products and I know that because when I do my wild feed seasonal eating, um, I very rarely like, you know, experiment with, with, with those uh, categories. But recently it has been more. So I was asking my body, so who or what is connected to this that I wanted more? Or who is this feeding for um, with that? More wheat and, you know, uh, milk products. So. And the answer came right away, it's your inner child. Because that made me feel safe as a kid after all of this like, you know, family drama I went through. So it's like, that's, that's the way to still maybe also soothe away a little bit of leftover pain from that. But also this is the way my inner child wants to feel safe. And it is really crazy. I was like, come on, like this is so long ago. And then the body starts to build that extra weight to those areas which would be to protect the body for future attacks. So if anyone of here has been or experienced uh, sexual abuse or misabuse, then you may wonder why is all your extra weight go into your buttocks and to your thighs and so much onto the side of your thighs that it almost looks like you have extra like uh, cheeks on your thighs. So now you know this is your body's way to protect your most intimate area which is your temple. So, so this is your body's way to keep you safe. So now when I got that information I was like okay so this is cool. So, what are other ways I can make my inner child feel good? Um, maybe I can do pancakes with uh, bananas. And like what other ways I can be innovative and introduce new ways for her to enjoy food, but enjoy a little better food. And I know also I quit eating a regular milk-based ice cream for several months and all these issues actually disappeared also so I brought it back I tried it like one time and then I ate the cake like a cake from a shop which is full of so many chemicals right and instantly my body reacted so so now in the milk as well in the regular cow milk which um, we go through like a whole process in my wellness program as well like why cow's milk is not made for humans cow's milk is made for cows and whoever came up with this idea very interesting right and how it has been uh, promoted and now everyone thinks milk equals calcium right so that another that is another conversation but just to mention it so what happens when we eat milk products is all of these hormones or like whatever other chemicals they pump into the cows nowadays unless you really you know have your own cow which most people nowadays don't so so you when you are eating or drinking milk products you are 
eat, eating and drinking all of that into your body and this is all like kind of strange stuff and then your body doesn't know how to handle with it and then your fat cells most probably will take it all in and try to keep it there and see it as an enemy for your body so so your body is very smart and so is also your awareness and consciousness sadly there is a missing bridge um, between those and now as I'm talking about the alignment I would say the alignment with your body mind spirit which would be your masculine uh, your feminine and your inner child so so once they all get healed and aligned then you can instantly become more of who you love so that's so easy and so simple and even though within this month we looked at so many things but we could have just done this video and it would have been all done and all of these other things are just like you know additional bonuses in a way so what an exciting morning um, also seeing these world-class coaches who are making like crazy amounts of money talking about you know the same things and yesterday also I finished the book um, Thriving by Jason Camp who is the uh, co-founder of Level a company who is uh, doing beautiful supplements and um, it was really cool to even read in his book saying that he's so grateful that he listened to his gut after he had a possibility to sell his um, beginning of uh, the company five hundred thousand dollars he didn't do it uh, kept grinding and hustling and took it to three billion in sales and 10 million in clients one of the fastest growing direct sales companies uh, in the united states so wow so if this guy is saying that intuition and you know all that inner connection is important so yeah so what else right and i've over the years i've even like you know started to collect other celebrities um, saying the same thing steve jobs oprah winfrey ellen degeneres and the list just continues and continues each one has followed their intuition which is a direct link to your inner woman and inner woman gets more excited more you listen to her and her guidance and put it to work as well so so here you are so the free blockages are you know to let go in order to become who you love is the blockage is connected to your inner child in a woman in a man and once you start to heal them and reset them you can get more aligned which is the very important element of becoming more of who you love and that is so true and I stand up for that truth so I hope you really enjoyed this journey of um, 30 plus days with me on this uh, beautiful Daytona beach many days and that um, you continue to be part of this group and I decided to actually keep this um, group open till the 15th of um, May additional um, uh, gift you know so in case you have someone who would like to join uh, please send them the link of the group and uh, tell them that they just have to answer a couple of questions so that would be probably a huge um, gift because then they have uh, 20 no 32 33 34 videos to go through and there will be more probably bonuses and stuff I'll add as we go so thank you so much um, I'll do another post also asking about how this adventure was for you are you more connected to your deep divine feminine? I hope you are. If not, 
also please let me know because I am ready to take you on this journey with the relationship alchemy and um, yeah take it to the next level with the journey of the 90 days or whatever we choose to with you and as this is coming out on the 6th of uh, May on the 8th of May 1 p.m. Eastern Time in my group relationships alchemy uh, I'll put the link under here as well you're welcome to join I'll do a little master class about the inner family and um, you can ask also questions and I'll do a special offer there for only three people so if you want to maybe be one of them show up so lots of aloha and happy alignment